It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. We are here for game three of the conference finals, and the excitement is all around us. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille is here. And I'm bouncing. You are excitement. bouncing. Kenny is bouncing. Tonight, it's the Houston Rockets as they'll be playing against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Looking at the Lakers, they've made it look easy as they've progressed through this postseason. Just two losses thus far. We'll see if they can continue their impressive play. And few people outside of Shaq's Bradamas, uh, could have predicted it. They return home with a 2 0 series lead. Shaq, how surprising is this? Close your eyes, Ernie and Kenny. Okay. Are I you, saw this are coming. Are your eyes closed, Kenny? Uh, no, they're not, but I don't trust Shaq. Okay. I Let saw me know this if anything happens because mine are closed. <laughs> I saw this coming. You could tell they were the hungrier team coming in, and it's shown. Shuck Shadamas is never wrong. Okay, nothing happened, and you can open your eyes. Because they can't start high-fiving each other just yet. It's still a lot of work to do, and I'm looking into his crystal ball knowing that as well. Oh, that is a good crystal ball right there. Has that been here the whole time? Yes, it has. Yeah. No, out of it. Time for tip-off. Kevin Harlan and his crystal ball will have the call. We'll see you later. It's the Western Conference Finals, Game 3. The Lakers come into Game 3 up two games to none. Will their relentless desire thrust them to a third straight victory? The scenery changes to hostile ground as they face off against the Rockets. The quest for the best in the West continues. Coming up next. Western Conference Finals action here on 2K Sports. We've seen this series go to 2-0. Now a critical juncture for determining where this series is going. Welcome everyone to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We'll see the Houston Rockets taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. You take a look at Los Angeles. They've been dominating this series, winning the first two games on the road with the win here. They've taken almost insurmountable three-game to none lead. And guys, basically, I think they locked this series up with a win here tonight. They've taken the momentum winning those first two on the road. Now on their home court, they're right where they want to be. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. The engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Payne out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Oh, man, and the six-foot-ten frame of Capella. I mean, when he's close inside, he's a huge threat to put the ball in the bucket. This is his first free throw of the game. good on the free throw. I just love the production Capella gives this team. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic. He's their defensive anchor. He finishes off with oops, and he can make nice passes off the pick and roll. He's off on the second. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. Here's Schroeder. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Well, the defense had nothing to do with that turnover. They're just fortunate. That's just plain sloppy passing. Here's Paul. David Aldridge had a chance to catch up with head coach Mike D'Antoni. David, what do you have to say? He told me they can't dwell on what happened the first two games. Even though the series may still have a long way to go, he did use the term must win when talking about tonight. This is no room for error, Kevin. He's probably right. Back to you. Thank you, David. James kicks it over to Schroeder. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Up top, Cousins. Yeah. 
Back to James. Four on the clock. Shoots over Tucker. Shot is good off the back rim and in. LeBron's got his first points in this one. Wonderful shot selection from James. Taking what the defense gives him. Paul surveying the floor. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. James right side. Cousins finds Schroeder. Six to shoot. Rejected by Payne, but he stays with it. For three, they get it again. Davis, and another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Davis has got his second bucket tonight. It's just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways, and that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second-chance bucket. Harden's shot is off. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. No, I mean, there had to be a better option that time down the court. That's just a missed opportunity. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets. They trail by six. Here's Paul. A rebound by the Lakers. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over him. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on the Houston Rockets. Los Angeles shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. For all those people waiting for LeBron to start showing his age, you might not want to start holding your breath. This man's got a lot of time left in this league. And both free throws good for LeBron. Rockets trail by eight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Paul kicks to Harden, looking to end the run. Drops in the tray. What confidence from Harden. He's a lethal three-point shooter. He knows he has the green light. Paul against Schroeder. Shoots the three. And the Lakers with another miss. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Tucker the pass to Paul. Baseline try. Cousins pulls it in. Well, that's giving him too much space from mid-range. It doesn't hurt him there, but they can't keep doing that. Count that bucket. Now look, I like seeing Wade get loose inside. He's effective at converting deep in the post. Rockets trail by seven. Paul finds pain. Back to Paul. Ball's knocked loose. And the rejection by Cousins. And he's able to get it back. Tucker with the ball. Working on James. Payne can't hit. Lakers leading by seven. Inside, here's Davis. Misses the baby hook. Rockets have gone just two of eight shooting so far. Just uh, 25%. Bob Bass to Capella. And the basket by Harden. Harden's got five points so far. Amazing feel for scoring on the interior. I mean, Harden, he's excellent at mixing it up. Shooter kicks to James. Pass to Cousins. Schroeder outside. Wade for three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Wade's got his second basket. You better at least get a hand up on Wade. I mean, he's more than capable of bearing the trip. Harden scanning the floor. Hands the shot from the wing. Harden's got his third basket of the night right there. 
There's no lack of aggression on his part. When he's got the chance to score, he'll take it. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Houston. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. And their defense practically non-existent in that one. Just gave up far too many easy shots. Well, their opponents ran some pretty good sets, too. I mean, let's be honest, creating some nice open looks. Now, here's Tucker following the miss by Anthony Davis. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Lakers. Six-point lead. Here's Harden. Wade with the block. And you know what? Call it great defense or poor offense. Either way, they're limiting their scoring. Shooter kicks to LeBron. Knocked loose. Paul with the steal. To the middle. Here's Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Exceptional instincts from the clever guard, Paul. I mean, reading the D, making the right pass. Wade outside. James right side. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. LeBron James second. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Houston. Four-point game. And Tucker has it in the corner. Tipped away. Now here is Davis. Schroeder kicks to Wade to the inside and finished off by LeBron. Well, all you have to do is lob it up to James. His timing on these alley-oops, incredible. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Hat. Now here is Davis. D right on him. Schroeder takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. I mean, he has his choice of finish, and love that he picks the finger roll. Grace for power. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, this is the dilemma as a coach. You wonder, do I need to call a timeout here? Do I need to settle these guys down? Should I let them play through it? Survival test. Group substitution here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Cousins. Montrez Hero comes in for Anthony Davis. And Stevenson's checked in for Dwayne Wade. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Houston with a big group substitution here. Nene, he's checked in for Capella. Hill comes in for Payne. Gerald Green, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Gordon in for James Harden. And Harrell slams it in. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. Yeah, you got to love it. Everything's working. Offense, defense, already a big lead. Now, here's Green. Passes it to Paul. Makes it off the glass. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. And look at Paul. I mean, he doesn't have the height, doesn't have the explosive vertical, but he uses his body to protect the ball. He, he can finish equally well with either hand. Here's James. He's got eight. Here's Howard. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by 10. Just doing the job on the backboard. Outside, green. And stolen by James. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Gotta like the edge James plays with. Phenomenal at it, taking it strong and picking up a foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. Gordon with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kicks to Paul. Over Rondo. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Lakers leading by 10. The pass to LeBron. Over Green. A nice shot by LeBron. LeBron's got 12 points in the game. This score will be very different without his offense. He's been terrific. Outside Hill. Down low. And there's Green on the assist by Hill. Green's got his first basket. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Stevenson against Gordon, and Stevenson kicks to James. Feeds it to Howard. Count it. Howard's got his second bucket. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, okay, you've done your job so far, but the question is now, can they sustain this level of energy? There's still a lot of game to play. Now here is Hill. Back to Paul. Nice four for seven from the four with that shot. It's his shooting that's kept them out of an even deeper hole. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Ten-point lead. And James throws it down. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. Well, I love how they've done it. They've built this huge lead with points in the paint, dominating physically. Now here's Paul. He's got eight. Now Stevenson. Unloads. And the Lakers tack on two more. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Paul kicks to Hill. To the middle. It's deflected and stolen by Howard. Now the Lakers on the break. Braun with the ball. Knocked loose. Releases. Hill, no good. Los Angeles leading by 14. Stevenson outside. Pass to Rondo. He kicks to LeBron. Back to Rondo. Just five to shoot. And now Paul pushing it up. No one back to stop him. That one goes. Count it. Paul's got ten. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. Stevenson against Gordon. And that one's good by LeBron. He's got 16. This is an amazing run he's on. It's like he's been the only guy on the floor this quarter. Green kicks to Gordon. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Paul. Over Harrell. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Rondo against Paul. Passes it to LeBron. 
Got it. Good job in the low post. And the Lakers lead by 14. Physical D. <laughs> when LeBron, the body control, the focus, it really doesn't matter. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Chris Paul, an elite defensive player, uh, a student of the game for sure, talks about his knack for making a lot of steals, forcing turnovers. Uh, the steals thing is just something that I've always had a knack for doing, and just, uh, I think it's because I watch so much basketball. Well, you hear about the importance of watching film, Greg. It reveals itself in many ways. And learning guys' habits, what they like to do gives him a knack for when to go after steals without hurting his team. Back here at the Western Conference Finals as we get things started once more. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. I mean, an interesting first quarter. The, the pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Well, that's what happens when you're aggressive on that end of the floor. They took a few chances and took control of the game. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Rockets, Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. Ennis out there with Hill. Then it's Nene in at the five spot. And Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trigger. Rondo looking around. And there's the call on James Ennis. That is his first foul of the game. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. It's stolen by Hill. The drive by Gordon. And it's sent back by Howard. Howard, one of the league's most feared rim protectors in the league. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Rondo kicks to Kuzma. Shot clock at six. Harrell with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. And that one off the back of the rim and in. And that's now six points from Montrez Harrell. Out to the wing. Here's Paul. And Rondo sends it back. Well, you forget sometimes how much of an impact Rondo can have defensively there, showing off some superb vertical as he goes up for the block. Wade, he's checked in for the Lakers. Dennis Schroeder comes in for Rajon Rondo. And a switch here also for Houston. James Arden, he's checked in for Chris Paul. On the wing, Harden. Wade is covering. Six on the shot clock. Wade against Harden. That's good, and that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. And Harden loves getting contact on his shots, showing off his true muscle and level of concentration. Now here is Howard. Harrell, that's good. Harrell's got six points in the quarter. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Hill against Harrell. Nene kicks to Harden. And the layup's good off the glass. Harden's got 11 points. He got pretty much a free run to the hoop right there. They might just count those as automatic points. Schroeder dishes to Wade. Over Hill. The shot by Wade, no good. Rockets trail by 13. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Howard. Davis is subbed in for Montrez Harrell. The Rockets also changing it up. Clint Capella comes in for Nene. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Solomon Hill. 
Timeout called the Rockets. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Ooh, this is ugly. No question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. Kane, he's checked in for Gordon. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. DeMarcus Cousins, third. Fourth, Anthony Davis. And they've both been extremely hot from the floor. Great timing on their part to get it going in the postseason. Here's Capella. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Now the pass to Schroeder. Kicks to Cousins. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And the Lakers lead by 15. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or it's sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? Now here's Ennis. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Yes, that goes in. <laughs> Schroeder against Harden. Schroeder finds Davis. Here's Kuzma. It's Davis on the wing. A floater, and that's two points on the layup. Davis has got six. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. No good from Cousins. A highlight reel play all the way just can't connect. Well, a good attempt to try to finish that alley-oop still, though, still should have went for something better than that, though. Now, here is Harden. He's got 11. And the dunk by Capella. And sometimes all you got to do is lobby Capella's way. Often he takes care of the rest. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Pass to Cousins. Wait on the wing. The three. And he's good on the three ball. Eight points for him. Look, the aggressiveness of Wade. I mean, he's always a problem in the pick and roll with his athleticism and speed. Ennis kicks to Capella. Pass to Harden. All sorts of time. Again, the Rockets score. Here's Schroeder. To the paint. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Schroeder. Eight points for Anthony Davis. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. And you see he's not worried about what's on the scoreboard. He just wants to go ham each possession. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. And defensively, you know he's feeling good right now. And, and, and as the opposing team, you better adjust your scheme accordingly. Now here's Schroeder. And another basket for the Lakers. Time out, time out. The timing, the precision. You got to respect Kuzma's ability to drain shots off the pass. Now a timeout called by Houston.
Rockets trail by 16. Ennis passes to Payne. Here's Harden. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Harden's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Harden against Schroeder. And it's Davis at the elbow. And they double up Davis. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's Houston with it. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Harden outside. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. And the Rockets making a change here. Green's checked in. Gerald Green. Schroeder against Harden. To the inside, Kuzma. Good work there as it goes. And the Lakers lead by 16. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Here's Green. No good off the front iron. And here's Los Angeles. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Here's Schroeder. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Dennis Schroeder at the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls for him. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. Schroeder hits them both. And it's Harden with the ball for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 18. Outside, Green. And a miss there on the triple. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. And Cousins gets it to go. They are just killing them on the interior. Rockets trail by 20. And here is Green. There's the dish to Harden. Down low, deflects the pass, and stolen by Cousins. It's two on one. Pushing it up. That's good from Schroeder on the assist by Cousins. Cousins has got three assists in the game. Rockets have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. On the wing, Green. Wade is covering, and Tucker has it in the corner. The Rockets with another miss. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Here is Harden following the basket by Anthony Davis. Green inside the three-point line. They can't stop the run with that one. And here are the Lakers. Loads it up for Davis. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. The tenacity, the, the attention to detail. It's, it's why these guys are in complete control. Well, they continue to extend the lead. Terrific play on both ends of the court. Now, here's Green. Back to Payne. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot He's two here. Gentlemen. That's on Dwayne Wade. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two, gentlemen. And the first one at the line is good. And Stevenson's checked in for Dwayne Wade. Paul's checked in for Houston.
He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's the Lakers with it. James looking around. At the elbow, it's Cousins. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Harden. Right wing. Here's Paul. Another miss by Houston. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And Davis puts it in. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Paul against James. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Now here's James. He's got 18. Releases and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. In the third spot, Clint Capella. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. Houston's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Stevenson against Green. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. The shot's good from LeBron. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. The Rockets shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Stevenson. Green kicks to Paul. Shoots a fader, and Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. To the paint, stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Stevenson against Green. He dishes it to Capella. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. I mean, and Capella really using his massive shoulders to draw contact, not afraid to go right up into the grill of the defender. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Two shots. Relax on the first. That's good from Capella. And some changes here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Cousins. Harrell comes in for Anthony Davis. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. The Rockets also changing it up. Nene, he's checked in for Payne. Solomon Hill comes in for Green. And Gordon subbed in for James Harden. Both shots good from the stripe. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Rondo kicks to Stevenson. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Passes it to Howard. LeBron against Hill. Shot clock at five. Outside for Rondo. A three-pointer no good. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. Paul, right side. Here's Gordon. Back to Paul. Over Rondo. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Lakers ahead, just dominating this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Dwayne, how'd you get on top of these guys in the first half? Well, one way is get on transition. Um, besides that, you know, we're running our offense to make sure we get paint touches. Uh, we play inside out. And, you know, we got guys that's been very aggressive, so it's been working for us. 
Yeah, that flow is the key to your success. Thanks, Dwayne. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at the Lakers, we're only two and a half games into this series, but it's already looking like they've booked their place in the next round. Up two games to none with a huge lead tonight. They are in the driver's seat. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. Chad, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? Ernie, I don't use this word a lot because, one, I can't spell it, but it was definitely a subpar effort for them on the glass. That hurt. They're serious about cutting into this deficit. It's gut check time. Ugh. You hear that, Ernie? I'm hitting my gut. Ugh. You got to check your gut, Ernie. Ugh. Gut check time, Ernie. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, the defense hasn't had an answer for this guy yet. Just too skilled, too driven thus far. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. LeBron James is out there with Davis. Then there's Dwayne Wade. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Schroeder in at the point guard. And that's the group for Luke Walton as we begin the second half. Now here's Payne. Capella dishes to Paul. Six to shoot. From 13, misses off the left iron. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. James, no good. That defense is as good as a block. I mean, what looks to be a layup turns into nothing. A nice shot by Tucker. And not everyone remembers. Harden was a good passer in college. I mean, but he's refined his game, and now he's become one of the league's best. Schroeder outside. Davis looking for an opening. Here's Wade. Rockets with the rebound. Harden outside. A three ball. That shot off the mark. Good D by Wade. Rebounded by Tucker. 0 for 3 now since halftime. Taking them a little while to find their rhythm. Harden finds pain. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And you can't throw up weak stuff around Capella. He takes pride in sending shots back. And there's the pass to Tucker. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Schroeder passes to LeBron. Back to Schroeder. Cousins, no one around him. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Now, here's Tucker. He's guarded by Davis. And Tucker kicks to Harden. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Man, he's superb at finding open teammates. Harden, I love how he looks to shed a rock. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Takes the three. 
The rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And the dunk by LeBron. You gotta be in awe, James. An offensive juggernaut. It's caught fire here tonight. Now a timeout called by Houston. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does anything. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Paul dishes to Harden. Back to Paul. Lays it up and banks it in. Paul's got 14. And a good read right there by Paul. Great at carving out space close to the rim and capitalizing. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Cousins kicks it over to Schroeder. Cousins, the pass to James. Missed inside. And pulled out all the stops to fight his way inside, but the D just was not giving in. Here's Harden. From down in the low post, it goes. Harden's got 21 in the game. So assured inside. I love how Harden takes the defense head on. Harden against Wade. He kicks it to James. And Davis now top of the key. Here's Cousins. And Capella sends it back. Harden against Wade. Harden finds Paul. Lob pass to Capella. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now here's James. 22 points for him. T. Wade on the wing, guarded by Harden. Just five on the clock. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. The fourth spot held by Dwayne Wade. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. Two shots. Relax on the first. Free throw good, LeBron. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. Nene, he's checked in for the Rockets. James Ennis comes in for Payne. And James drills them both. Rockets trail by 13. Paul kicks to Nene. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Now 
Now the feed to Hart. A baseline J. His percentage from the field is not very strong this quarter. Excellent D from Wade. Outside, Davis kicks to Schroeder. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Stolen by Tucker. Harden dishes to Paul. Lock at six. Gets the 14 footer to fall. Paul's got four this quarter. I've heard CP3 called the monster of the mid range. That shot is his bread and butter. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Lakers making a change here. Rondo's checked in. And a switch here also for Houston. Green's checked in. And here is Los Angeles now. They lead by 11. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Look how strong Wade is on the block. A polished interior scorer who gets physical with defenders down deep. For Los Angeles, they have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. Taking two shots. The first one falls. And the veteran Wade. I mean, as this guy get old, he continues to get it done. One of the best shooting guards of all time. Howard's checked in for LeBron. And Wade drops them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Harden the pass to Ennis. Pass to Tucker. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Oh, it's a confidence shaker when you can't hit a wide open three like that. Rondo kicks to Kuzma. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Ennis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Rockets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. And the first one drops. Lance Stevenson's checked in for the Lakers. The Rockets also changing it up. Hill, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Gordon subbed in for James Harden. And Ennis drops them both. Los Angeles leading by 11. Rondo kicks to Davis. In the corner, it's Stevenson. Outside Rondo. From 12 feet out, it's good. And, you know, he's proven to be capable at, at sinking that mid-range jump shot. Uh, Rondo has to be respected from that part of the floor. Now, here is Hill. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Ennis. Let's the three fly. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. Some changes for the Lakers. Harrell comes in for Davis. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Lance Stevenson. Here's Rondo. Wade with it. Passes it to Harrell. He kicks it to Howard inside and there's Dwayne Wade on the assist by Howard that's 12 points for Wade oh, improving his floor awareness Howard has a decent sense for when his guys are open 
outside Hill. Gordon with it. He's picked up by Rondo and stolen by Howard. Gordon against Wade. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. One shot. One shot. And so Green will bring it up for Houston. They trail by 18. Outside Gordon. Back to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Wade. Another miss by Houston. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold street, he can give you what you need. Rondo kicks to Howard. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. That free throw good from Wade. I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Poke loose. Up top, Tucker. He is defended by Harold. Now, Tucker. He has five. And here we go. Wade heading to the hoop. Drops in the breakaway layup. Wade's got 20 points. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. And here's Ennis. Gordon finds Nene. Rondo with the steal. Wade against Gordon. Wade gets the bucket. 22 points for him. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Gordon dishes to Ennis. Nene outside. Bobbed up there for Green. It's stolen by Wade. Kuzma against Green. Kuzma passes to Rondo. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Line for your Lakers. On Trans Arrow. Two shots. That's good from Harold. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Houston's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Ennis kicks to Gordon. He feeds it to Nene. Great D that time from Howard. Yeah, really frustrating right now. They just can't seem to stem the tide here. Yeah, going up against a big run, trying to mount one of your own. I mean, it's exhausting and takes a tremendous amount of energy here. And everything they're attempting is going in. Tremendous run here in the third. 
Well, I don't know what they talked about at halftime, but they found a weakness in the defense. And that monster lead continues to grow. They are just piling it on now. But give the coach a little credit. It's been some great play calling. Each guy doing his part. This is what you're hoping to achieve. Now, here's Tucker. He's got five. To the inside, Gordon lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Gordon's got his second bucket of the night. Fearlessness. Gordon using his strength to get off a good quality look inside. Wade finds Howard. Back to Wade. The pass to Howard. Outside for Ronda. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot. And Harrell with the lay-in. Good. Harrell's got 14. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Tucker. Gordon inside. Wade is covering, and the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got four this quarter. But that's what they're looking for. They need him to take on a bigger role this game. Wade kicks to Kuzma. Back to Wade. And there's the call on the name. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Shooting for Los Angeles, Dwayne Wade. Two shots. Shooting two, gentlemen. And the first one drops. So for the Rockets, Clint Capella comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Paul subbed in for James Ennis. He makes one of two that time. Houston's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Nene, and it's sent back by Howard, but he gets it back. A second-chance effort. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. One shot. Free throw good, Gordon. Oh, he's a top-tier shooter. Gordon, he's a former six-man of the year winner who plays his role to perfection. Rondo against Paul. Rondo kicks to Cousins from the baseline. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. Rondo's got three assists now in this one. The shot, no good. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Los Angeles on top, opening up a huge gap. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. They've got Jackson. Hartenstein is out there with Solomon Hill. Then there's Gordon. And it's Carter in at the point. 
Harrell, he can't get it to go. And it's Houston the other way. The three, and there's Eric Gordon on the assist by Jackson. And it's 13 points for Eric Gordon. Well, yeah, the touch, the timing. You got to know how Gordon is a threat to shoot off the pass. Rondo kicks to Beasley over Carter, and that one is good by Beasley. Here's Jackson. On the wing, Gordon. Over Stevenson. Good D by Stevenson. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. Just not really closing out as much as they need to. Now here's Gordon. Carter on the wing. He's covered by Rondo. And it's Rajon Rondo with the foul. That's his first foul. Carter against Rondo. Outside Jackson. Over Beasley. And Jackson gets it to go. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Rondo passes to Beasley. Now, here's Stevenson. And it's Rondo in the corner. Five to shoot. Launches a three. The shot off that time. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, because you're spread out. It could be difficult to contest these shots, but not for him. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters, though. Now here is McGee. Down low, Hero. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. Still attacking, building on this lead, coming down the stretch. Well, what I like about it most is he's doing it efficiently. Here's Hartenstein. Outside Gordon. Over Rondo. And Houston again with the bucket. How about this turnaround? He played a fringe role in the first half, and, and now he's the man for them. Now here is McGee, and it's Harrell at the elbow. Stevenson inside the three-point line, and the Lakers tack on two more. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Carter with it. He's picked up by Rondo. From beyond the arc, a nice shot by Carter. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of their six timeout, shots timeout. to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Timeout called the Lakers. Platoon swap here for the Lakers. Houston with a big group substitution here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Payne comes in for Solomon Hill. James Harden, he's checked in for Jackson. And Paul's subbed in for Carter. Wade gets the bucket. 
Lawks his first three of the second half. After nailing two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. For Houston, they've gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Gordon kicks to Paul. And it's Houston with another. Look, look, the ingenious mind of Paul, superb is sizing up the defense. I mean, he's taking what they can give him. Wade outside. Feeds it to James. Stolen by Gordon. And the rejection by Cousins. And the defense of Cousins making his presence known with the quick leaping ability which he uses to block shots. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Chris Paul picks up that one. Shooting from Los Angeles, Anthony Davis. Taking two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. And that one falls for Davis. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Payne in the post. Cousins is there. That's good from Payne on the assist by Gordon. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to James. And stolen by Gordon. And it's Houston on the break. Paul with the ball. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Paul's got four points now in the quarter. It's a challenge trying to stick with Paul. I I'm not going to lie, especially in the open court. James dishes to Schroeder. That's tipped. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Here's James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists tonight. No one commands more attention from the defense. But LeBron knows how to beat it. I mean, he can do it in a variety of ways. Now here's Paul. Lob pass to Capella. Cousins with it. Chris Paul covering. Here's Schroeder. Banked in off the glass. Oh, he's one of the best passing fives in the game. I mean, think about this. Cousins doesn't get enough credit for being unselfish on the floor. Capella against Cousins. And the jam by Harden. Now, he's doing what he can do to dig them out of this hole, but I think he's going to have to turn it up even more. Wade outside. Inside. And it's blocked by Gordon. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Ennis, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. James Ennis. Paul against Schroeder. Shot clock at six. Got a piece of it. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And the Lakers making a change here. Howard's checked in. Houston's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. To the inside, Payne. Good, and Paul gets the assist. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. LeBron outside, and it's Schroeder in the corner. Hits the three-point bomb. Schroeder's got five points in the quarter. 
Oh, you gotta love the intelligence of James. He understands the game like few others. I mean, spots the open man with ease. Here's Harden. And it goes down two points. Harden's got 25 points. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. And I'll tell you, this is something you never like to see. Oh, man, come on. Injuries like this can change the course of a game, even the whole season. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for James Harden. Schroeder with the ball. Kicks to Howard. Inside. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Wade is a powerful two-guard, someone who forces these shots in despite getting wet. Davis has checked in for Dwight Howard. The Rockets also changing it up. Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Hill comes in for Adrian Payne, and it's Green in for Gordon. One shot. One shot. That free throw good from Wade. Rockets shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. To the middle, here's Tucker, and he uses both hands to jam it in. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Ah, uh, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. And some changes here for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Davis. Lance Stevenson comes in for Dwayne Wade. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Cousins. Over Nene. And that one's good Cousins. His mid-range game shows how far Cousins has come. He's so much more than just an inside threat. Green finds Nene. Back to Green. Nene up top. Paul left side. To the paint. The shot by Nene. No good. And so Cousins will bring it up for Los Angeles. Stevenson outside. Again, the Lakers. Houston's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Nene against Cousins. Paul outside. Five on the clock. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And a switch here also for Houston. James Ennis, he'll check in for P.J. Tucker. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his fifth foul. Now he's going to be walking a tight line. I mean, one more foul, and his night is a wrap. Get open, get open. Inside. Stevenson passes to Howard. No good. Shot missing. Some solid defense there by Nene. Rondo kicks to Stevenson. Back to Rondo. Three on the clock. From deep three-point range. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Rockets ball. Houston making a switch here. Carter's checked in. Javon Carter. And for Houston, they're shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. Nene scanning the floor. Here's Ennis. Nene trying to get open. Hits. How that one from Ennis. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Stevenson against Green. Stevenson finds Howard. 
Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. At the line for your Lakers, Dwight Howard. Two shots. Shooting two, gentlemen. And that one falls for Howard. Well, free throwing was never a strength of Howard's game. Howard hits them both. Houston's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Stevenson against Green, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be Lance Stevenson. At the line for the Rockets, Gerald Green. Two shots. Taking two shots. That's good from Green. Both free throws good from Green. L.A. has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Rondo kicks to Cousins. In the corner, it's Stevenson. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Four on the shot clock. Here's Cousins. And he gets the bucket. Cousins has got four this quarter. Oh, really? Cousins is so big and strong that you really have to whack him to prevent him from scoring. He welcomes contact with open arms and one. Now, here's the name. Dishes it to Ennis. The Rockets again can't hit. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Stevenson outside. Now, Cousins. And here's Kuzma. Passes it to Rondo. Here's Stevenson. And the rebound goes to Nene. Nene's got four rebounds in this game. And now we can start talking about game four. What a magnificent effort and really a significant victory for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for LeBron. Uh, their offense had a great flow to it because of how well he was moving the ball. His assists were way up there, and he kept everybody moving, working to get over. Stevenson kicks to Kuzma. There's the pass to Cousins. Hill pulls it in. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And there's the feed to Ennis. And stolen by Kuzma. It is now to Rondo. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we started the game, you know, Coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we were trying to stop a lot of their actions, and, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guard the ball. Um, that's what we did, come out of that timeout and never look back. 
And it led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.